In this two minute tutorial guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create this really cool three dimensional drop shadow effect that you can apply to text, logos, or pretty much anything within Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. So the first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and just load up Photoshop. Now remember, this works on either text, logos, or pretty much anything that has got a transparent area within Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load up this photo here, which is just a simple gradient background with the word shadow written in text. Now as you can see, I've just got three layers here, and I want to add a drop shadow to the layer above, which is the shadow layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just double click. And what that will do is that will bring up my layer stylizing box. Now what we want to do is to add in a drop shadow. So we're gonna go down right to the bottom where you can see it says drop shadow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a opacity of 15 with a size of 25 and a distance of 25, as you can see here. But as you can see, that drop shadow looks quite flat. So let's add some depth to it by adding another drop shadow. And we can do this within the layer stylizing box. So I'm gonna to go to this little symbol on the right hand side here, which is a little plus symbol. I'm gonna go ahead and click. And as you can see, it has now added a brand new drop shadow, which you can now change. So I'm going to increase this by 50 pixels, and I'm going to increase that by 50 pixels here. So as you can see, we've added a little bit more depth. And again, we can add another one. So I'm gonna go add another one like so, and I'm gonna increase this to 75 pixels here, and size of 75. And then what I'm gonna do is I might increase the actual amount by let's go up to 20% in our opacity and you can keep on adding these until you are happy with the result so I'm going to go for a 100 pixel here and then I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to 10 pixels there in our opacity I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you can keep on adding as many drop shadows as you like until you get the result you want and as you can see, it creates this really cool three-dimensional effect that adds a lot more depth to your overall drop shadow while achieving it just in one layer, just using your layer stylizing box. And there we go, guys. Here is the before and here is the after.